This video explains the terms symmetric and asymmetric as they apply to above ground lifts. The lift in this video is an Atlas PV-10. The Atlas PV-10 has symmetric columns. That means the columns are squarely facing each other. The Atlas PV-10 has arms that be configured either symmetrically or asymmetrically. There is much gossip in the lift community that only an asymmetric arm configuration will allow the operator to open the car door wide enough to enter or exit the vehicle. This is not true. Today's above ground lifts have columns that are wider than those lifts sold a decade ago. The wider distance between the columns allows the driver to enter or exit the vehicle using either the symmetric or asymmetric arm configuration. Asymmetric arm configuration means that all four lift pads are pointed toward the rear of the vehicle. The vehicle is driven between the columns and the front tires are positioned just past the column. The shorter front arms are swung toward the front of the vehicle until they are perpendicular to the column. The front arms are adjusted so that the lift pads are under the correct lift points on the front of the vehicle. Then the rear arms are moved into a position so that the rear lift pads will contact the rear lift points of the vehicle. About 30% of the vehicle is in front of the column and about 70% is behind the column. The asymmetric position allows the front door of most vehicles to be fully opened, allowing for easy exit and entry. The vehicle is then lifted to its first locking position. It is important that the weight distribution is evenly proportioned over each of the four arm pads. Check to make sure the lift pads are properly engaging the vehicle's frame or lifting points. If the vehicle appears to be improperly balanced, lower the vehicle and reposition the lift pads. The symmetric arm configuration means that all four arms are extended to about the same length. The arms are spread openly so that the lift pads are actually behind the front of the carriage, allowing for maximum drive-through distance. The symmetric arm configuration is normally used when lifting a long wheel-based vehicle or a pickup truck with a heavy load in the bed. The front tire of the vehicle is pulled forward of the front extended arm. The lift column will be positioned just about in the middle of the vehicle. About 50% of the vehicle's body will be in front of the column and 50% of the vehicle is in back of the column. The lift pads are positioned so that the weight is evenly distributed across all four arm assemblies. The vehicle is raised to the first lock position and is checked to make sure that all pads are in good contact with the lifting points and that the vehicle's weight is evenly distributed. Notice that exit and entry is not difficult from a symmetrically positioned vehicle.